Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Polymistor or Polymnistor, the king of Thras during the Trojan War and husband to Ileone, daughter of King Priam. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. In Greek mythology, Polymistor or Polymnistor was a king of Thras. His wife was Ileone, the eldest daughter of King Priam. Polymistor appears in Evripides' play Hecuba and in the Ovidian myth Hecuba, Polyxena and Polydorus. During the Trojan War, King Priam was frightened for his youngest son Polydorus' safety, since Polydorus could not fight for himself. Priam sent the child, along with gifts of jewelry and gold, to the court of King Polymistor to keep him away from the fighting. After Troy fell, Polymistor betrayed Priam and threw Polydorus into the ocean in order to keep the treasure for himself. Hecuba, Polydorus' mother, found the body and discovered the treachery. She asked Agamemnon to bring Polymistor to here. Agamemnon complied, motivated by the love of Cassandra, another of Hecuba's children. Hecuba beats Polymistor by drawing him in with treasure. Hecuba has the other Trojan women kill Polymistor's sons and blinds Polymistor by scratching his eyes out. Polymistor is humiliated at having been blinded and made childless at the hands of slave women. Polymistor is given a trial against Hecuba by Agamemnon. Polymistor claims to be working in the Greeks' interest by killing Polydorus before he avenges his brothers and father. Hecuba refutes this claim by stating that Greece has no interest in allying with barbarians. Agamemnon sides with Hecuba and declares Polymistor's actions to be murder. Agamemnon has his soldiers seize Polymistor. As he is being taken away, Polymistor reveals the deaths of Cassandra, the daughter of Hecuba and Agamemnon. Now, some tell of a different end for Polymistor, one which sees him die at the hands of Polydorus. In this tale, Ileona would raise both Dipilus, son of Polymestor, and Polydorus, son of Priam. But loving her own parents more than Polymistor, decided to ensure that no matter if anything happened to Dipilus or Polydorus, then Priam and Hecuba would still have a son. To this end, Dipilus was raised as if he was Polydorus, and Polydorus was raised as if he were Dipilus. During the Trojan War, emissaries from Agamemnon came to Polymistor and promised the king wealth and the hand of Electra, daughter of Agamemnon and Clytemistra, if he would kill the son of Priam. This Polymistor willingly did, but Polymistor killed his own son Dipilus because of the intrigue of Ileona. Later, Polydorus, who was now a young man, went to the oracle of Delphi and whilst there received a strange statement, which told of the death of his parents and that his home city was now in ruins. Polydorus quickly returned to his home on Thracian Chersonesus, still believing that he was Dipilus, son of Polymistor and Ileona, but went home found that his parents were still alive and his city still whole. Polydorus would tell Ileona what he had been told by the oracle of Delphi, and Ileona told him the truth. Polydorus then took up his sword, blinded the man who he had falsely believed to be his father and then killed Polymistor. Finally, Polymistor was also a Greek king of Arcadia. Let us finish with the following saying. It's not beauty but character that pleases husbands. Every Pides. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.